If you are using Zoom application for all your video calls or meeting purposes, then you should know that you can use different backgrounds on Zoom application. You can change your background in Zoom application. How can you do that? I'm going to explain each and everything. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. First of all, let's open Zoom application and let's create new meeting. So I'm going to go in Launchpad and I'm going to open Zoom app over here for now. Now you can create new meeting over here. Now, once you create new meeting, this is how the Zoom application interface looks like. You get uh, basic details or basic options at the bottom over here. Now, in order to change your background, so as you can see, I have kept a light uh, in my background, which is not on right now. I have turned it off just for reference purpose so that you can know how the things work. So, uh, for example, if you're sitting in your bedroom, you're doing work from home and you have to go on a meeting or on a video call with your team and your background is kind of messy. No need to worry, you can change your background on Zoom application. For that, all you need to do is, you just have to go on this uh, arrow option, which is on stop video. You can select that arrow option. And over here, you get multiple options in terms of background. So, uh, so the first option is blur my background. So if you don't want to add a virtual background, you just want to blur your background, you can select this option. And as soon as you select blur my background, you can notice the change, right? Now earlier the light was uh, the stand was visible but now it is not now currently uh, it has blurred the background so this is how you can hide your messy background <laughs> by using blur option so if you don't want uh, to use blur option again you can select this arrow option and you can just select blur my background once again you can see currently it is showing tick mark but as soon as you select it now it is gone now the background is clear and this is how you will come to know that which option you are using. It will show a tick mark option. Now blur my background is off. But not only this, you can add virtual background. So for that, you can select choose virtual background over here. And we have already seen the blur option. If you want to add this San, uh, San Francisco in your background, you can do that. Now you can see how it is looking. Let me close this. So this is how you can add virtual background. You can choose different virtual backgrounds over here in Zoom application. And this is uh, all uh, in the application itself. You don't have to download any background or something additionally. It is already present in the Zoom application option. Again, select choose virtual background. You can select whichever background you want. If you want this earth option, you can select that. So these are the images. If you want moving background, if you want video kind of background, you have that option as well. So you have Northern Lights and Beach option as the moving background. So it will show you the video icon over there. So let's say if I select Beach option for now, now you can see my background is moving. So I'm on a beach right now with my team, uh, not with my team, I'm on a video call with my team and you can see this is how the uh, video background will look like. So that's a good thing. You can, you know, choose multiple things, whichever you want in terms of virtual background. If I select Northern Lights, you will get Northern Lights and the lights will be moving. So that's how simple it is to choose multiple backgrounds in Zoom application on your Mac. And this is going to work for all the Mac devices. If even if you're using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac, it is going to work until and unless you're using zoom application so that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe i will see you all in the next one thank you